All right, how about a big round of applause for Julia? Uh, I always wanted to be a singer, a sexy singer, like Paula Abdul, Samantha Fox, Madonna, rolling on the floor kind of singer. And my first opportunity to perform as a sexy singer was in fourth grade. Um, so sexy, it was pretty, pretty sexy. Um, and actually, I was lip syncing, so I wasn't even singing. Um, Wellington Elementary School had put on their version of Putting on the Hits. Do you remember that TV show, Putting on the Hits, where people lip sync on national television and won prizes for really doing nothing? But um, so my school did a version of this, and I did the song, Come on, Baby, Let the Good Times Roll, from the Stand By Me tape. And uh, I did a costume that was half man, half woman, so I could do both sides. And it was, you guys, it was amazing. And at the end of my performance, um, Mr. Smaria, who was Wellington Elementary's uh, gym teacher slash the MC for the evening said, and I quote, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a contest, but I think we can all agree that if it were, Julia Rossi would be the winner. And then everyone went crazy, you guys. Like pandemonium exploded. I went to this like upper white middle class like school and it was like showtime at the Apollo. Like people ringing the bell and like throwing the chair and just like going bananas. Like I have been performing for the past 10 years professionally and to this day, my mom will say that that is the best performance of my career. Like it was. <laughs> Unfucking believable, you guys. So, riding on that wave, I decided to then audition for every musical theater uh, production that occurred at my middle school and high school, and I never got into any of them, not even the chorus, because I got really nervous when I actually had to have the words come out of my mouth and not just mouth them off of a tape. Um, and so I asked my parents if I could please take classes at Boston Conservatory. They had a program for high school students where you'd learn dance and acting and singing. And in the first day of classes for the singing part of the course, uh, you went in, you sang a song, and then they gave you a song to work on for the remaining few weeks. And the song they gave me was a song from The King and I uh, called Shall I Tell You What I Think of You? And if anyone knows that song, you know that it's, it's really just talking uh, over sounds. Uh, it goes, shall I tell you what I think of you? You're spoiled. It's like that. It's like I was basically the Fred Schneider of music class and the rest of the B-52s got to sing all they wanted. And, I was very upset by this because my parents were paying money for these people to teach me how to sing and they were telling me to talk over music. So I felt very defeated, disappointed. And then when I got to college, I just sort of gave up singing altogether. There was actual people studying voice and they were fantastic. And then when I met my boyfriend, um, I sort of gave up the sexy show-offy thing too. I got into this really comfortable relationship and uh, so comfortable uh, that eight years later, we ended up getting married, uh, even though, well, uh, <laughs> hold please. Uh, even though there was quite a bit of doubt, a uh, lot of doubt actually, and um, a year after uh, the wedding, one of my very dear friends, Heather, said, do you wanna come to my beach house for a week down at the Jersey Shore? And now this beach house, we had gone to this beach house before when I was 20, the last time that I was single, the last time that I felt really free, really wild, really sexy, really just brave and confident and amazing. And that was the last time that I had spent an extended amount of time at this beach house. So we go a year after I get married and we're there and we got there on a Wednesday, so it wasn't even that crowded yet. And we go to this bar and I don't know if it was the nostalgia of being in this place that had felt so good in the past and also the like 30 beers that I chugged, but <laughs> I'm sitting at the bar with my friend Heather and my other two friends who've known me my entire life, and I say, excuse me. And there was uh, a cover band, two older gentlemen in their 50s playing like in the middle, it was like a round bar, and they were playing in the middle, and there was only probably 30 people in the bar that night anyways. These two older guys, and they're playing cover songs, and I say to my friends, I have to go to the bathroom, but what I did is I went up to the cover band, and I was wasted, and I was like, look. I've always wanted to sing with a band. I just want to sing in front of an audience. I want to be sexy. Like, I just want to do it. Like, I don't know if I can sing, but please. And they like didn't even hesitate. They're like, sure. And I was like, what? 
And they're like, yeah, you can sing with us. What do you want to sing? And so we're going back and forth trying to figure out songs that we both knew. And the only song that they knew how to play that I apparently knew the words to was Madonna's Like a Prayer, which is, if you like, such a good, like, you feel it in every, uh, and I did not just sing it. I annihilated it, you guys. I was crawling on bars. I was squatting. I was pouring water on my body. I was like, when you call my name, like, it was, it was better than that. But it was like, I was doing vibrato shit. I was like, like, up and down and belting. I don't even know the terms for singing, but it was, if Mr. Samaria was in that bar, he would have said, ladies and gentlemen, I know this is not a contest, but I think we would all agree, Julia Rossi is the winner, and the bar would have gone bananas. So after my performance, I sit down with my friends, and I was like, huh, all right. They were like, when did you learn how to sing like that? And I was like, I don't know. And then I started sobbing hysterically, and I screamed, I want a divorce! <laughs> so... <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, I went home to my husband, and I knew we had to talk, but we had to first go to an event, um, a, a party, which is actually at a karaoke bar, and kind of riding off this high of my Madonna performance, I was like, well, let's see what happens, and so I ended up singing Alicia Keys' No One, which is really hard, I don't recommend it, and <laughs> it was okay, but it wasn't great, and I went to go sit down next to my husband, and I was like, what did you think, and he's like, uh, you're not a very good singer. And then the next day we decided to separate. Thank you.